Hello, welcome to my soup introduction. As it is the tradition around here, I have a cat who's willing to participate in helping me introduce the soup. So this time, let's see who's gonna go. Mufasa, Smokey, good boy. Lucky, good girl. Mufasa, small. Look at that. Anyway, today's soup is chicken and vegetable, but it's a different recipe of chicken and vegetable. I'm kind of uh, proud of myself. It's something new. I like the final taste. I hope the people I shared this with will like it too. And uh, I just say it's a hit. That's, that's all I gotta say. The end result, the very last spoon I tasted was, that's it. I nailed it. I couldn't add any more words to it. I just, I did it. So I'm proud of that. So on the, on this soup, we have the baked chicken rotisserie from Costco. I have the zucchini, cauliflower, bell pepper, um, pepper from the garden, a couple of those, tomatoes from the garden, uh, onion with a t potato kind of cooked together in bacon fat and then added to the soup for flavor. Oh, and I added the um, no salt organic seasoning from Costco as well, Kirkland brand. We can add any brand you want, really. And then um, black pepper, sea salt, and vegeta. Vegeta is a European flavoring thing. You can find that. It's spelled V-E-G-E-T-A. And then dill. I added the dill to it. And I think I think that's a that's about it. Those ingredients. I'll put them in the description below of this uh, of this uh, cooking video. And I hope at least one person will try to make this and let me know how you like it. But I think I nailed it. I really am proud of this. So, unlike before, I didn't cook, cook the chicken in a pressure cooker for an extra hour. This time I took it off the bones and cut it with a knife on a cutting board, as you see in the video. That actually worked out good for me, and I boiled it for over an hour, probably about an hour, 10 minutes, hour, 15 minutes, but still, even now, the pot is on the same eye. I turn off the eye, but it's still cooking, you know. This soup will be great. Believe me when I tell you, this soup will be great. Everything is integrating, it's fusing together. I'm loving that bell pepper taste in it. The smell of the soup has it. You can smell it. You can smell the um, dill a little bit. So, and the chicken, of course. Oh, and I added one spoon, <laughs> tablespoon of the better the bouillon chicken flavor for the extra chicken flavor for my soup. I love to have that flavor in there. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping me grow this channel. For the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. For the subscribed persons already, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Every time you watch a movie, it helps me grow this channel. God bless you, and I'll catch you on the next video. Hello. Good morning. Happy Saturday morning. So this is my new soup coming today. It's just the beginning of my day. I just made my coffee here. You see, I'm getting ready to have that. But I just want to put this out there. Soup is coming today. This will be a chicken rotisserie soup with vegetables, potatoes. I have some potatoes to put in there too but I'm gonna start this I'm gonna let a slow simmer for a while while I go to Costco and get the chicken and then I'll separate that meat and put it in here and then um, I got a couple of potatoes I'm gonna peel and put in here and whatever else maybe squash zucchini we'll see but that's the plan so be on the lookout for a soup video have a great day we'll catch you later
Okay, so here we have onion, a couple of uh, potatoes for flavor, and this is uh, organic non-seasoning salt. So I got this just to cook on the side while I have the soup boiling right here. Well, we're gonna bring it to a boil and let it simmer after that, and then we'll add the chicken later. But this is just like a starter right now. That's what we're doing. We're starting the soup. And later I'll add to this video. But yeah, this is where we are right now. All right, so this is our vegetable soup. It's been boiling for a while. I've got this right here, the potatoes with onions and the bacon fat and the uh, no salt, all seasoning, organic. So we're gonna put that in there to add flavor. So this will be boiling for a while. Now I'm gonna turn down the eye to like, uh, let's see, from half, we're gonna go down to simmer or two. And I'm gonna let that go for a while. And then I'll bring the chicken to it and we'll continue on with the video. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. So more water has been added to it. And this is it for a while. Again, this is gonna just simmer. I'm gonna get ready and go to Costco, get that chicken and come back and continue. It's gonna be great. Thanks for watching.
Okay, so welcome back to my channel. For the returning subscribers, if you're new, welcome to the channel. So we are in the process of making a soup here. It's a new recipe. I've got a uh, baked chicken rotisserie from Costco. I've already picked it. The bones are in there. I picked this bowl. So now I'm going to cut that and put it in my soup. But before that, let me show you the soup itself. Because we had that simmering for a while. So here we have zucchini, cauliflower, tomatoes. What else do I have? Bell pepper, and onion, and a couple of potatoes, uh, you know, two small potatoes I did earlier and I put them in there to simmer. And now we have this. I picked it and I'm going to cut it and put it in the soup. And then we're going to let the soup simmer for a while. Okay. So let's get going with that. I hope you're having a great day. It's Saturday afternoon here where I live. It's actually a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Sunny. Not too hot. Not too hot. And this, this recipe here is new. Did I say that? It's new in the sense that I haven't done it with zucchini yet, but I have done baked chicken, or say chicken soups before, with potatoes and all, and tomatoes. So, it, it's just, every version of the soup, it is, at least that's how I look at it. So we're gonna cut this, put it in, just bear with me while I do that. in there okay now we're gonna put this in there okay actually I'm just gonna cut more no bones this time I didn't pressure cook it like I did before I usually, on my previous soups, I usually just pressure cook the whole chicken or the leftovers, and that way the bones can be consumed. Uh, but for some reason, I, I decided to do it different today. I didn't want to cook it another hour for the bones, so we're going to leave the bones to the side now. This is the dark meat. I'm getting to the dark meat now. Dark meat is good for taste. At least that's what I was told. And it is tastier when you eat it, actually. Okay. Now, I want you to see this up close. So that's how we cut it. Small chunks, so we can put it in here. Small chunks, yeah? So I'm, I'm gonna continue cutting this too, as well. Just one moment though. All right, let's continue. Put those in there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stir. Wow, this is feeling pretty good right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you know, let's see.
I honestly think, I honestly think this is enough. So I can make another soup out of this. So what we're gonna do with that, I'm gonna zip it and put it in the freezer for the next soup. I've got uh, freezer bags. I'm gonna put those in there. Beautiful. Okay. It's a win-win situation. Okay, good. Okay, that's it. So you've seen the process. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this right now, just the way it is. I'm gonna put that in the freezer. Okay, ready for the next soup. Okay, that's done. However, now what I want to do in this one here, let's add a little hot water with the same bowl that we had the chicken in. It won't hurt it. Okay, it won't hurt it. Actually, we get to rinse some of that fat off the bowl into the soupy over here. Okay. All right. That's that. Okay. All this can go in the trash now. We don't need it anymore. Um, I'm getting ready to taste the soup and let you know what we need to add to it. Let me get a spoon right here. Just remember when you put a rotisserie chicken in the soup, oh, you should come closer. You should definitely come closer, right here. Okay, so just remember, when you put a rotisserie chicken in the soup, it already has salt in it. So I wanna taste it to make sure Wow. I can definitely taste the vegetables. They do need to be cooking for a while, for sure. But uh, cutting the zucchini and the cauliflower and the pepper, these fresh ones, I can definitely taste it in there. Definitely taste it. It needs salt. Definitely needs salt. But what we're gonna do now is kinda let this cook a little bit. I need to give it pepper too, don't I? Okay. Let's let it cook and we'll come back to do a little bit of tasting of this. Okay. And then we'll wrap up the video with an introduction. Thank you for watching. So like I said, this soup was very easy to make. We got the rotisserie chicken in there, squash, uh, I mean, sorry, zucchini, bell pepper, tomato, roasted chicken, potato, onion, yeah. So now we're gonna let that just kind of take its course and we'll let it cook for a while. Thank you for watching.
All right, I'm back. So you can see the soup has been boiling for a while. I'm gonna do a little stir in it just to see how everything feels. Good. Oh wow, I can smell all this veggies fusing together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do is give it another taste with a new spoon, since I'm sharing the soup. We'll get a new spoon. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of salt because I know it's gonna need just a pinch of salt. Like that. Like that. I've already put in there my uh, no salt seasoning, this. So I don't think I'm going to put more of that right now, but I will add dill. I love dill. This is going to have a little bit of dill. I will use this spoon. That's why I didn't want to taste yet. As I figured. Once I'm putting it in there. Okay. Good. So the deal is in there. Beautiful. She is a beaut. I'll use that for tasting in just a second. Uh, let me move this thread. We'll put that over there. Good, 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 good. Okay. That goes back in the freezer. And then I'll add a little bit of pepper to it. Ground black pepper. Like that. We're gonna stir. And I have to say for the record, I've added a tablespoon of better than bouillon chicken flavoring that we got as I think something organic from Costco uh, that will give the soup extra chicken flavor which I love I've added more water I think a cup of water is what I put in there because you can see this thing goes almost to the top here Wow, that's looking like a soup to me. Looking like a soup. Okay. So, the only thing I want to do is taste this, which I'm going to do right now with this one. I just want to taste, make sure it's got everything it needs to have. Mm. It's good, but it needs more salt. Okay. And then I think just for my peace of mind, I'm gonna put more of this, more of the seasoning. I just feel like it needs a little more, a little pinch more. It's not quite there yet. So we're gonna get it there. Okay. Good. Ok. 
Okay. Let's let that simmer for a minute. And what I'll do also, I'll throw in a little bit of this uh, all purpose Vegeta, all purpose seasoning. It's a European thing. <gasps> Whoa, that's too much. That was just too much. Okay. That's it. Just the pinch. And so I gotta tell you, um, soup. Soup is good to have in the house all the time. It's good for your gut, for digestion. I love to make soups. Actually, they're fun to make. So I love to make soups. This is a chicken vegetable soup. My way. Okay. Look at that. Feels good. Okay. So we need one more spoon for the final tasting. And we'll call that it. It should be, I mean, it should be by now, it should be excellent, taste wise. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Just exactly the way I want it. Just like this. Excellent. Mmm. I'm loving this. Mmm. Mmm. That chicken. That's good. That's it. That's our soup. So, hmm, let me fix this here. One more look. Me with the soup right here. Chicken vegetable soup. So, okay, so here it is. This is the final product for our soup. Soup has been boiling for over an hour now, so it's already great. I've already done the tasting on that. Everything tastes good. I really believe I nailed this one and I've got to tell you thank you for watching I hope some of you will try to make this soup at home it's very simple really so you get a baked chicken from somewhere rotisserie chicken that's what I had from Costco but other stores would have that for sale so you start with that get the chicken off the bone cut it put it in the soup you already have on the side you're gonna have the tomatoes the potato, the squash, the tomato, the onion, what is that, put? The, uh, dill, um, bell pepper, wow, what else did I, am I missing anything? I don't, I don't think I am. So, bell pepper, potato, tomato, onion, um, dill, I got a no salt seasoning, sea salt, black pepper, oh, that's, I think that's about it on this one, um, oh, and then a tablespoon of the Belle and Bouillon chicken flavor organic stuff, uh, oh, and Vegeta as well, I put Vegeta in there, which is a European thing, European thing for flavoring. But I think the soup is where it needs to be right now. I think I nailed it. So I'm sharing the soup. I'm hoping the people I'm sharing it with, they will love it. Because I do. I really am kind of proud of this one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping me grow this channel. God bless you. I'll catch you on the next video.